The original 1991 Addams Family movie is a classic supernatural black comedy where the audience quickly picks up on the joke that everything is kind of backwards. The Kuki family is obsessed with death and the macabre, yet it is all harmless and no one is actually killed. The worst offense they commit is hitting golf balls into their neighbor's yard. The Adams family is kind of like The Office, where we cringe at everything they say, yet we see their genuineness and feel their love for each other. In fact, once we can look past their odd exterior, we see that the Adams family is a highly functioning family with two kids, both parents who actually love each other, maybe even a little too much, a grandmother who lives with them, and more extended family that visit often and participate in family traditions. One of the writers of the film, Larry Wilson, said of his own writing, I didn't know I had a theme until I had enough work where I could say, oh, my work has a theme for the most part. And for me, it's about, you know, families that have fallen apart who are brought back together in some very bizarre way. The crux of the story centers on the fact that Gomez, the father, feels responsible for having driven his brother, Fester, away years ago. And now Fester has seemingly come back. Could it be? Is it him? Is it possible? Oh my God. But really it is a sham perpetuated by the Adams lawyer and Fester's adopted mother, a loan shark, to get to the family fortune that is hidden somewhere in the house. To get to the vault where the family fortune is kept, a series of secret passages and even secret handshakes must be given. At one point, a gondola ride deep within the bowels of the house is reminiscent of ancient Egyptian depictions of similar boat rides that supposedly escort one between the realms of earth and heaven. This imagery makes me think of the Adam's house more like Solomon's temple, where only those who are worthy are allowed to enter successively holier spaces until finally reaching the Holy of Holies. Although the Adam's vault is filled with gold, there is something there of greater value than gold. Here, Gomez keeps his memories, Showtime! including old film strips of he and Fester in their youth. It is in this special place, the deep heart of the Adam's home, where Gomez brings Fester to apologize to him. Fester, being an imposter, is of course only here for the money, and much of the rest of the movie is spent trying to get back to the vault to steal the treasure. A way is found to evict the Adams from their home, so the treasure hunt can continue without interruption. Being removed from the family home by his own brother is a further blow for Gomez, yes, whose greatest desire is to reunite the family. But we are Adams. Of all the powers and magic of the Adams family, Adams. the strongest power is the power of family and their love for each other as shown through their traditions, which has been affecting the imposter, Uncle Fester, hey, Gordon, since he arrived. The Adams eviction affects Fester as well as he begins to realize the truth that has been veiled from him all along, that he actually does belong to this family. You disgust me! You're nothing but it is revealed that he had lost his memory and was found in the Bermuda Triangle. I should have left you where I found you! With this new realization, he helps the Adams get rid of those who were using him to get at their fortune. Now he is born again, raised from the dead, adopted back into the bloodline and embracing all the traditions that the descendants of Adams have enjoyed for generations. He has found himself by connecting with his family. He is an Adams. And that is the moral of this story.